And our inventory is full, so let's probably go offload most of this crap. Especially the couches. Admittedly, the couches aren't worth much. I might just fill my house with couches and a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, this game looks super cute. It is! It's charming. I wish I could keep those goggles for normal time. When I'm just, like, running around in the world, and it's like, don't mind me. I really do like... Why am I short? I guess... Oh, right. They did say I was, like, 18 or 19. I wish you could have actually, like, picked your character's age and they'd, you know, change your build slightly. Let's see, I got mucus. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I know exactly what I'm gonna do to it. Hey, Nora. Have some mucus. Thank you. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, best brother, what do you got for me? Market price is down. That sucks. Uh, actually, if market price is down, I'm gonna get a tool upgrade kit. Yep. All right, so we might actually... I'm not gonna have enough money. What else can we get? One way of doing things. Anyway, we should probably buy one of these. I'd like to buy another. Uh, you know what? Let's let's go swing by, see if I can turn in a commission. Because I actually haven't done any commissions yet. And if we can get those upgrade tools, we can start looking into the better mine next. But yeah, she actually did like the goo. I thought she was going to... You know, it would, like, impact our relationship, but no. Alright, so... Aroma apples? No. Three shell necklaces? No. Eight charcoal. Five days. This is doable. Because, yeah, at this point we can get the upgrade kits. I could just sell some stuff and buy it. I don't have... that much money. Eh. Let's just go on a urchin murdering spree and we'll figure out the rest later. E. Sort all. I love the fact that you can just sort all now. Wooden storage. Junk town. Okay, so we can finish the thermos tomorrow. Uh, I'll sell the sell the scarves and that. Let's go put the, uh, let's go put the couches in my in my house. Once we start filling up on, on, like, once Dude's Hop fills out and we don't actually have anything else that we can jam in here, then I'll start getting, um, then I'm probably going to start getting particular about what's actually in here. For now, it's just going to look like a bad warehouse filled with utter garbage. But if it raises my maximum stamina, then there's n nothing wrong with that. Time for murder. Crafting completed. Okay, so we should have enough copper blades. Yeah, three copper blades. Uh, how are you doing? Craft all. Craft all. I've got so many resources, I can just kind of do this. I should make... Oh, one more. Yeah, we need another for charcoal. Okay, let's make another stone furnace. Eventually, I'm going to need a lot of copper or something, and then I'll know exactly what to do with myself. I have 700 stone. <laughs> I do not know the meaning of the word excessive. I'm looking forward to the day where we have a little bit more yard space, though. Okay, charcoal is just wood. Perfect. We might as well make a bunch of it. That should be done... Overnight. Perfect. Alright, time to go kill me some things. Yeah, so in essence, it's not a storehouse, but a single college-aged guy's apartment. Hey. My, well, I guess I was never... I never had an apartment when I was single. 
Shell and I have been together for a while, so I never actually really got to do bachelordom, which honestly is kind of nice. What? Thing is, she's messier than I am. Oh, Kraf! It's Kraf. And Big Bear Man. Kraf! I'm not really sure what happens when you fall in the water in this game. If I remember... Oh, that's what happens when you fall in the water. Okay, let's not go close to the water. Okay. Mad Crab, you ain't nothing. Oh, they even have money for me. That's appreciated. Unfortunately, most of these guys are pretty weak. Also, unfortunately, my damage is kind of bad. I was really expecting I'd be doing a lot more damage, but I guess we need to increase my, uh, my attack even further. Well, we've got at least one or two, like, artifacts that we can probably construct. Oh! Actually, it's just that your attack points are not- it's not a one-to-one one -one situation. I get it. I'm gonna be fighting here for a while. And we'll probably pass out fighting. I guess we could go to the other area. I don't- I don't think I can cross over there. So maybe let's go stand outside the, uh, the second dungeon. Eh, or keep fighting urchins here. Hard to say. Okay, so what is this? Identify fish before fishing. Chance to get extra production from cultivation. Chance to reduce the material cost when crafting at a work table. Effectiveness of petting in the coop and shed. Drill and chainsaw. Well, we don't have those anyway. Extra growth for the mount after every training session. So actually, most of these are kind of meaningless after this point. So I guess let's start uh, putting points into an intensive training. Faster leveling seems like a, a good choice anyway. Oh, what are you? A balloon urchin! Whoa! I died. All right. Well, lesson learned. Let's go chop down some trees. I guess I need some armor before I fight those guys. Hot doodle. I'll just come back later. I found the urchin boss. Oh, is it an actual, like, boss? No, nah, it's probably not. I will never want for plant fiber. Makes me suddenly think of Ark. How's Atlas doing? Is anybody still following that game's development? Or has uh, has that kind of come and gone for a while? Because I know everybody was like, kind of really mad at it, ish. And I was just like, this doesn't surprise me in the slightest. And then went on to do other things. Lags still most likely. Yeah. I, I know my buddy uh, John Bain was very big into those games. And so I was, you know, popping by every once in a while. And every time I watched him, it looked like it was, it was like semi-interesting. I just can't get into that game's aesthetic. That's my main issue. Like, I, I dig stuff like this. Like, yeah, the characters can look a little weird, uncanny valley-y. But, like, they've got a certain charm to them. That, like, whenever I see anybody playing Ark, I'm just like, it just looks so... fake. YouTubers are playing on private servers. Makes sense. I... I... when I heard it was going to be on public servers, I was just like, why? I don't want that. Oh, we can upgrade our, our thing. Uh, let's... Put that over here. Uh, we can upgrade one of our tools. Probably the, the mining... Bronze pickaxe? Yeah, let's go bronze pickaxe. Let's make a beginner's fishing rod as well. So we'll need another upgrade kit. I'll have to check for that. 
on the morrow. This looks better than Conan Exiles. I think part of the problem is, like, Conan Exiles didn't really have a visual style. It was just kind of, like, off realism. And it, like, kind of mostly worked sometimes. Uh, but this has, like, a very consistent style, and it sticks to it really, really well. And I really appreciate that. Okay, so we can take the blades. We don't have the bridgehead yet. This is... Check status. Happy. Research results. We've completed research into the diagram. Here's the result. Civil furnace. Okay, what do we need for that? Because I think, I think we want that. That's how we get some of the better... stuff anyway. Civil furnace needs marble plank, bronze plates... Well, I can get marble now, I think. Uh, let's see, do I do I still have the discs in my inventory? No, I put them away. I should go grab them. Discs. I don't actually have that many. Yeah, so we can get a porcelain water holder. We can get the thermos. Can we? Maybe we can. Oh, one of two third thermos pieces. Okay, so we can get both of those. We don't have the monster toy ready. And we're missing the horse head. So we can't make another horse yet. And then the monument needs four. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I can build while we're here that I could sell? Because we've got stuff like the the small chair. Sell price 24, 23, 7. Hardwood. Once we start getting into the bigger, more expensive stuff, then we can sell it. But we need, oh, a factory to make a weapon rack. And steel plates. Yeah, that's why these are so expensive. And that's why I can't do it. Oh, the truck hole's done. Perfect. Okay. Keep these going. And it looks like today's our last day for, uh, for mining. So we should probably do that as well. Okay, how's my inventory looking? I got the fishing rod. We should, we should drop that in one of these. Put that here. Uh, no, we can probably hold on to it. Also got the copper blades, furniture maker. Uh, let's check the map. So, meet and greet, tree farm. I think there's just something over there. So, commerce commission, clothing store, furniture maker. Okay, cool. So, they're all just in town, so I can go grab them. We. Uh, where's this person? In the alley? Oh, they're in, yeah, yeah, they're in here. Oh, it's Isaac, right. Commerce Commission. Mm-hmm, a valiant effort. All right, so we get decent chunk of money and some rep points and some other things. Oh no, the other person's running away at high speeds. Oh shit, he is actually running. No! Polly, no! Strapping quality. Expected nothing less from you, smallish builder. You dick. I wish you could get, like, swole in this game. Like, I don't know. I wish I could pick more body types in these games. That would make me very happy if I could just be as burly as that dude. Even if it doesn't exactly make sense. I don't care. Oh. Umbrellas are important. You. I've got a problem here. You see, recently folks have been buying up a lot of umbrellas, and now I'm short on stock. I'm going to try to make some, but, well, I need materials. What type of materials? Nothing out of this world. Just some spines from the sea urchins you see lacing around the town. Do you think you can give me a hand? Sure. Great. Remember, though, only the tougher-looking urchins drop the spines as loot. 
Okay, so I gotta get spines, no big deal. Market price is at rock bottom. Yes. Balloon. I'm curious about the miner's helmet, but I bet it's not actually that helpful. Okay. And we could buy... Well, we can sell these. I'm just gonna sell them and get rid of them from my inventory. Um... We have 286. I could save for the work clothes. Oh, uh, let's go turn this stuff in. Main problem is I just, I need to start, uh, I need to start hoarding more resources anyway. Uh, you. Petra. Hi. Research. Hi. Did you discover something new? Five. That should be enough data disks. Still, if you want to expedite our research. Nope. Data corruption on these. Okay. Oh, and I only have enough for the old thermos. So we'll recover that. We'll come back for the other stuff in a bit. Uh, so this gives us the old thermos. Attack plus one? Ah! That's not... I'd be running too if a purple-blue hipster with a pickaxe was running after me calling my name. This is valid. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm a hipster or just like Papa Smurf on his younger years before he got all short. Oh, right. We got to swing by the town hall for the fishing competition. I think so. Oh, it's renamed Workshop. Anybody remember where that letter was telling me where to go? Calendar. Okay, Fishing Day. Uh, it says Fishing Day. Social Mission Handbook. Okay, so fixing the fence does have a time limit. This does not. Hmm. I... I don't know, actually. Yeah, unfortunately, that thermos we just got, the attack bonus of one really isn't worth it. I'll probably sell it. Well, either way... I think I'm just going to, uh, hope that I can just show up for the fishing competition. If not, I don't care. I don't really like fishing games, mini games to begin with. Uh, let's see. This is the wood chest. Alright, drop that off. Drop the wood off. We'll fix that up later. Okay. Spiked practice sword. We need resin. That's something we get later. Uh, let's see. What was the other thing I needed to make? Real quick. Oh, right, right. Ron's axe. Okay, so tools are good. And we'll do other stuff. See, fishing a monster hunter wasn't annoying. Yeah, fishing a monster hunter wasn't bad at all. Um, I'm trying to think of some other games. Generally, I'm not terribly interested in fishing mini games just because it's like, it's slow, it's boring, and half the time it like involves a lot of extra fiddling that you don't want to do. I actually can't tell you if this is one of those games or not. To be totally honest. I don't know if I've done fishing in Porsche at all, actually. Or am I, like, immediately sure if I care to? Okay. So I've got my big pickaxe. I'm ready to go. Come on, artifacts. I guess we could just go straight down. That's it. I do have the spines needed. Yeah. Come on. Really? Not a one. Well, that's kind of fine. We're all... <clears throat> Might have to get some hot cocoa at some point. We're pretty much done with every amount of resource 
that we could gather from here anyway. Yeah, this entire side just looks like a complete dud. So let's just write this off entirely. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I'm really not sure why, uh... Why that other section just didn't have anything, but oh well. We... Like, I'd love to play, like, a really good fishing game someday. But when I say, like, a good fishing game, I almost mean, like, it would have to be ridiculous. Like, you level up and, like, the act of fishing wasn't super boring. Because I've done fishing in, in real life, and it's not great. I'm not that interested by it, at the very least. I've tried it a, I, I've tried it a number of times. Uh, many of my, like, relatives, my extended family, are big on fishing. Fishing and hunting and whatnot. And, like, I just find it kind of horrifying. One of my, uh, mother's favorite stories to tell, uh, when we were kids, we, we were out fishing, I think we caught, you know, nothing particularly fancy, but it was a big enough fish that we wanted to keep it. And, no, 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 it was too small, we wanted to throw it back, that's what it was. You know, we were just out fi fishing for fun. And my mother hadn't really done a whole lot of fishing on her own and it had been a while, and so we were having trouble getting a hook out of one of the fish's mouths. And we were, we were trying to get rid of, uh... We were, we were trying to get it out without hurting the fish too much because, you know, catch and release. Uh, well... There's this, uh, I guess, hobbyist fisher in the area, and, and he saw we were having trouble, and he comes over and he's like, you need help? And we're like, yeah. You know, we're having trouble getting, you know, getting the hook out. Uh, and he's like, yeah, I can help you if you want. Okay. And instead of grabbing the, uh, the hook, you know, clipper or whatever, he probably, it was pliers, maybe? He might have had a special tool, I, I don't really know. But, effectively, he just reaches over, grabs the fish, and just rips the hook out and tosses it in, you know, taking a decent amount of its face with it. And we were horrified. Uh, my brother and I apparently were super young, but we were pretty upset about it, and... I think that's the point where my mother realized that, one, she wasn't sure if he wa she wanted to do any more recreational fishing. And she was certainly sure, uh, that, you know, my brother and I would never be interested in recreational fishing after this point. And she was right, I have minimal interest in recreational fishing. Also, this better pickaxe does actually dig out a larger area, I'm noticing. My, my caving is much, much larger. And like, I would get it, I would get, you know, ripping the hook out or whatever if you're going to eat, eat the fish. But, I don't know. I have trouble with animal death. I should probably be vegetarian. I just kind of like eating meat and it's tough. The day when lab-grown meat becomes easily available, and maybe not cheaply available, but, you know, easily available, is the day I absolutely just switch over to, well, it wouldn't be vegetarian, but it certainly wouldn't be, uh, oh, hey, there's the rest of the thinking can. Perfect. That'll be the day I switch away from, like, actual animal meat. Oh, Shell's watching clips from the Masked Singer. I, she just made like a noise, probably... Uh, he's having a good time with that Masked Singer show on TV. And I just look over and there's just this strange looking person in like a costume that looks straight out of the fifth element. I'm like, what is going on here? You'd be a vegetarian if bacon wasn't so tasty. I actually don't like bacon that much. Like, I've had good bacon, but it's such an... <clears throat> I might actually really have to go get that hot cocoa sooner than later. I was hoping to put it off until, like, I switch games, but, uh... My voice is getting raw by the second. It's weird. <clears throat> but no, the, the problem with bacon is... It's so variable in quality. 
I've tried, I've tried like a lot of different bacons and stuff, you know, turkey bacon, chicken bacon, regular bacon, apple smoked, uh, hickory smoked, you know, tons of different types. Uh, not exactly gourmet bacon, but I, I've had people that have been like, yeah, you know, this is like the premier bacon. And I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, let's give it a go. Oh, it's just this place again. But, you know, highly vaunted bacon. And I just, I just find I'm not terribly interested in it nine times out of ten. It's, it's usually too salty or too fatty for me. And recently with my, my thing about food poisoning, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure it was the Peruvian food that, that did me in. Uh, but in the process, we had also had, uh, we had had ribs and they were particularly fatty ribs. And it sucks a little bit because I actually really like good barbecue, uh, really good like ribs, barbecue, whatever. And just the combination of food poisoning to begin with from the Peruvian food, comboed with uh, with the you know fatty nature of the, the the ribs, I was just so ill, and I still am ill. And every day I wake up and I'm just like I feel so bad, and then you know I feel a lot better and stuff. Okay, so what do we got? Anything around here? Still a little bit of tech. No, oh, we're out of stamina. Well, guess we're done. Easy enough. We That map is so useless. No, I don't know. I'm hoping... What I can effectively do is, once we move, uh, we'll be around a lot more, like, not vegetarian options, because I don't, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd go full vegetarian, but I'd probably, like, take meat out as a staple part of my diet and switch over entirely to eat meat when it's, like, a really good cut. Because, like, that sort of thing seems like a good idea. Let's see, right, we still have the old thermos, though I'm not really sure if I care. Uh, let's grab the rest of the fertilizer. I'll have to figure out how to get more of this stuff. How many? Two days, it's ten some hours. What do we need for you? Marble planks? Oh boy, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna take some time. Okay. Oh, right! We can actually start cutting down the bigger trees. We should start doing that, honestly. But yeah, we're... Uh, I think we've settled on, like, a location-ish that seems like it would be worth moving to. Should probably make glass. Yeah, let's start making glass here. And we're looking at, like, restaurants in the air, and I think there was, like... Tandy, Indian, Japanese, and Thai places all within driving distance, and I'm like, yes, that sounds great. You could always cut out red meats and go for fish instead. I actually, I really don't like fish. I can't taste it most of the time, and it usually smells really bad for me. Like, fish smells, I just, they make me feel so sick. Is bad. Okay, so today's Thursday. What do we got from Research Center? Okay, two days. And I could speed them up with more research disks, but I'm not doing that. Yeah, the only the only fish I can really like really stomach is generally salmon. The smell is a little bit more pleasant. It's a little bit less fishy. And so I, I can, I can be around like salmon cooking, as long as it's like not too much. Too much salmon kind of gets to me as well. Let's see, sort all. Also generally go for like particularly, I'm going to call it vanilla. Uh, 
If it's if it's like too heady of a, a fish, or not too heady. If it's like if you do too much to the fish, it also gets kind of bad for me. Okay, so we've got the full on thermos, which I I should go deliver. We've got the full thinker. Uh, we've got glass. I'm gonna go put that in the rock chest, and I've got some more pipes. Might as well put it down. It sells for some amount of money, but that's not really that important for me. You wonder, I think you have enough bronze for your furnace. It's marble that I'm lacking. However, we can go get some marble, I believe. Because, yeah, it looks like, it looks like this whole area is fairly good for marble. 